Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my December haul and favorites. I'm gonna start with the haul, but if you're only interested in the favorites, I will leave in the description box to where you have to skip, um, or maybe you can even click on the timestamp so that you can just go to that part of the video. Um, but without further ado, here's my haul. So I'm gonna start with the things I have least of, and that's jewelry. And I went to Eindhoven in the last days of December with my mom, where there's already sales because in Holland they have sales before they do here in Belgium. And I got these really nice earrings at Claire's. Um, these are kind of similar to the earrings I wear a lot lately. Um, they are really nice, dangly, a bit bohemian looking earrings. Um, I really enjoy wearing these, they are not too heavy. And um, these were not on sale, these were 6 euros. And then the second thing I got is something I am not currently really able to wear. It is this head chain thing. I will just put it on my head so you can see how it is supposed to look when you wear it. But because of my fringe, it doesn't look good at all. So this is kind of like the head jewelry thing. Um, I really did like um, the design. It was on sale for only 4 euros. So I kind of got it because I really liked the design. Um, I might even make this into a necklace um, if I don't plan on wearing it as a head jewelry piece. I also got a few clothing items this month. There is a um, not really sale going on already at Lola and Lisa. And this dress, um, yeah, it's really hard to show it here on camera. I will include a picture of me wearing it. It's a really nice, um, what we call it, a line dress. So it flares out from the waist. And I also got two belts with it, one uh, really skinny black belt and one really skinny, um, it's like a pinkish metallic belt. I'm not showing you these because they're kind of boring. I also went to my local thrift store where I found this really nice holy thing. Um, it's just like a overthrowy thing, a kimono like, so it has like um, just a sleeve stitch somewhere around here. Um, it is a bit damaged, uh, but only cost two euros i believe and i think it's a really nice layering piece for my outfits also at the thrift store i found this really nice knitted sweater but it has like a design in it uh, with bigger holes that make it more interesting to me um, and i really like wearing this because it isn't as cold this year in winter so i just put a regular tank top underneath it and i'm ready to go um, i really like wearing this for videos as well because well it looks a kind of a bit like mesh fabric, I really like it, and this one was 5 euros, I believe. When I went shopping with my mom in Eindhoven, we went to H&M, and that's where I bought this kind of vest cardigan thing. It is from their grey collection from the Divided line, and it has a hood that is kind of huge. Um, I like it, but I think, again, with the fringe, it doesn't look good. Um, so I'm not wearing the hood currently. Um, I really like it. It is nice and long and flowy. I will include a product picture of it here so you get an idea. I also got new shoes and I will include pictures of me wearing those new shoes. Um, the first pair are a pair of high boots. These are really sturdy. These are winter boots. The second pair of shoes are uh, by Chabot, which is a brand that has bigger sizes. And um, in Holland, some of the stores have these bigger sizes. Now these were on sale as well and these are actually for my office wear so I don't think I will be wearing this in my free time as much. They are really comfortable so they are not too high um, but I think I will only be wearing these to work. And then we're going to the beauty items and these are quite a lot of items because I got a lot of them as presents. I had put them on my wishlister and both my parents um, decided that they wanted to buy me those things. Um, so the first one I haven't actually opened yet, it's the Olympia perfume by Paco Rabanne. And I already have the sample size of the perfume, so I'm using that up first before I'm opening my big bottle. And the thing that is really funny is that I got like a miniature size, so I don't know if you can see, but it's really tiny. In December, Nivea here in Belgium had a promotion on their items. So I got quite a few of them. I have these two products, which you already know, and I just bought like a spares of these since I am almost out of both of these. So this is micellar water. It's meant um, to take off your makeup or just clean your face. And this is a eye makeup remover, so it's two parts. And when you shake it, it becomes like this one solution. Um, it's really gentle on your eyes and it takes off all the makeup with just one cotton pad with this product on it. Um, so I don't need a lot of product, but I do use these 
a lot. So I got these three other products since it was um, when you bought five products, 50% off of your entire um, price. So I also got this um, mousse that is meant to clean your face with. I do like it, um, but it makes a mess of the bathroom every time I use it because I splash water in my face and it just gets everywhere. And then I got a day and a night cream um, of the same range. So these are the Essentials Sensitive and um, the day cream even has a SPF 15. Next few things aren't as exciting, um, but I do wanted to mention I got a new hairbrush and this is like a dupe for the Tangle Tweezer. It is called the Betty Brush. As you can see, there's a few hairs in it because I do use it every single day. Um, it is a really nice brush. It has like um, two layers of hairs of bristles. Since I ran out of this pair of eyelashes, I went to Action again where they sell these bourgeois uh, pairs of lashes. Um, they have a few different types, but these are my current favorites and these are only 1 euro and 49 cents a pair. Also in Kruidvat, I got my newest foundation. This is the Bourgeois Healthy Mix Foundation and this is the color 52 Vanilla and I do think right now this is the perfect shade for me. Um, it is the second to lightest shade and I think I maybe will have to get the lightest shade um, as we go further into winter but as you can see while I'm filming the sun is still out so I'm not getting as pale as I usually would in winter. The next two eyeshadows are by Essence. Um, these are quite cheap eyeshadows, I have to mention. Um, the first one is the color 21, Keep Calm and Very On. It is this really nice deep berry color. The next one is the color of their metallics range and it is the color 24, Let's Go Burgundy. And um, actually when you apply these, and I will insert my swatch of them somewhere around here, they are quite similar. If you've kept an eye on my Instagram page, you have seen that I have purchased some products from Star Crush Minerals. And I actually ordered these on uh, Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I'm not sure which one of them. And the first thing I got is this glitter adhesive. And then I ordered five colors and I will show them here to you, but I will also include their picture. The first one is the color 350 Crimson Rose, which is a really nice red color. The second one is called Zombie Star and this is a high shimmer purple. The third one is called Taboo and this is between red and purple and it is a really nice matte shade. Then the fourth color is called Supernova White and this is a high shimmer white color and this is perfect for the inner corner highlights I do. And then the last color is a glitter and this is called Bloodlust and this is a yeah high shimmer red glitter. Um, it has a lot of other colors in it as well but it is mainly red. As you all know, I love Real Techniques and I've been using the sponge I have from them for about five to six months already, so it's time to replace it. So I got a extra of those. Um, I haven't opened it yet because, well, my original one is still okay for me to use. I don't do my makeup with it every single day. Um, so I have this ready when it needs to be. And then this is one of the most awesome presents I got this year. This is the original Beauty Blender. And and I find beauty blenders quite expensive, especially since the Real Technique sponge is only 6 euros and this one is 20 euros. Um, but I had put it up on my wish list, and it was one of my uh, family members that got this for me. Um, it is the pink one and it's actually included with like a soap bar to clean it. Um, I'm really anxious to try this out and I will do a comparison between like the cheap eBay beauty blenders that I have used in the past going up to this one to see if it's really worth its money and if I would recommend getting this or the Real Techniques one. And then a product that I had been looking at for such a long time but was like, yeah, is it worth the money? I wasn't sure. Um, but I actually got it as a free uh, thing with my perfume when I got it from my dad because my dad bought me the perfume. And this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the anti-aging and this is actually the travel size. When I was in Eindhoven I also went to the Kiko store that they had there. I wasn't aware that Kiko was even a store in Eindhoven and I got three products, three lip products. The first lip liner is the Automatic Precision Lip Liner in the color 514 and this is a matte lip liner and it is kind of a deep brown color. The second pencil I got is a really nice deep red color. It's kind of between purple and red. 
Um, it looks a lot like Rebel from MAC, if I have to be honest. And then the last product I got is a lipstick, and these come in this really fancy tube. And at first I didn't know how to open these, but you have to push this thing down, which makes your lipstick come out a little bit, and then you still have to pull on it to get the actual cap off. And this is the color 524. It is a really nice gray color. My final product is my first ever MAC lipstick and it is the color Instigator and it is a really nice dark color. I am not currently wearing this on my lips yet, um, but I will certainly be wearing this in one of my future videos. It is a beautiful, beautiful purpley red color. It's really deep. So I know this was quite a long haul. Um, if you have any questions about the products I have gotten, uh, please do ask because I would be more than happy to help you. Um, and now on to the favorites. So my first favorite is my music favorite and it is the band called Hirschk. I have featured them in one of my favorites before, I think it was two months ago, and it was the song Damaged Ropes. And in the meantime, we have discovered some more songs of them, and we actually found their album. Um, so my boyfriend orders their album, and he's listening to it a lot here in the house, and I enjoy it a lot as well. Um, so yeah, if you are into electronic music, please check them out. I will still include a short clip of them here. <laughs> My second music favorite is the band Motionless in White with the song America. I actually didn't listen to Motionless in White all that often before, um, but recently I have picked up um, some of their clips because they came into my recommended videos. I knew who Chris Motionless was, I really like his style and his makeup and how he dresses etc, but I didn't really listen to their music yet. <laughs> this month is the Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. This is again a really funny movie. I like watching funny movies that are kind of creepy as well. It is not your typical movie that will be in cinemas. It's actually kind of a B-movie if I can be completely honest about it. It is really funny and if you are like me into zombie movies a lot, I would definitely check it out. A Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. How to earn your self-defense badge. All right, scouts, let's kick some zombie ass. My beauty favorite this month has been my newest foundation, the Bourjois Healthy Mix in the color Vanilla. Um, this is currently the best foundation I have ever had. Um, it matches my skin perfectly, it's really nice quality, and because it has like fruit vitamins in it, my skin feels really soft. Because with other foundations what I get is that it gets kind of cakey and it kind of dries out during the day. This one doesn't have that at all, it just stays nice and soft on my skin and afterwards when I take it off I don't have dry patches, it's just a really good foundation. And I use this together with my Real Techniques sponge, um, so that's how I apply it. And then my actual overall favorite for the month of December was seeing my family again. Uh, because when I started working in July, um, I also moved here to my boyfriend's place. So it's kind of the other side of the country. And I wasn't able to see my family anymore on a weekly basis as I used to. So I've kind of missed them. Um, and it was really nice just being able to go there, to stay there a few nights, to see them again. Um, I had a few days off that I spent uh, with my family. They were really happy to see me as well. We had nice dinner together. I even saw some of my family um, that live in Australia. So they came back home for the holidays. Well, they came to Belgium for the holidays. Um, yeah, so it was really nice seeing them again. So this was my December haul and favorites video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what were your favorites this past month. Have you been able to spend the holidays with your family or are you still waiting to see them? Be sure to let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Even subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you here for every single video I make and I will see you next year. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.